Dear Maria, well, I finally made it to Australia just like I said I would. I know everything's going to go great here. I'm going to get a good job and make lots of money. And as soon as I do, I'm going to send for you. You're going to love it here. I just got here and already I feel just like a native. Ah, very nice plane. <laughs> See you later. Ah, huh, looks like Bakersfield. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hey. Hello. Hey. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, here I come. All right, everybody, off your knees. Dear Maria, well, Sydney is just too beautiful. You're just going to love it here. Boy, am I lucky. That friend of Pino's who lives there has a big mansion. He said I could stay with him. He's got three swimming pools. He said, hey, just take over the whole West Wing. Well, I got to go now. Love and kisses, Carlos. Oh, P.S. Hope to see you soon, honey. Who's Gus? Anyway, you should meet him. Come through this way, matey. He's having breakfast. <laughs> nice outfit. Excuse me. Don't speak. Come in. Gus, Carlos. Carlos, Gus. We are the Ruse Brothers. Come on, shake his hand. He's tame. Hey, Gus. Welcome down under. Dear Maria, you're never going to believe this. I got a job singing in the biggest nightclub in Sydney, right in King's Cross. Man, this place is great. They love me here. I'm packing them in. Well, I gotta go now. Time for my fifth show of the night. Uh, love and kisses, Carlos. Excuse me, uh, are you speaking Spanish? Yeah, what of it? Would you like a job? A job? Dear Maria, well, sometimes yeah, you just sure. land in roses. I'm now the half owner of a Mexican restaurant. Uh, as soon as I can come up with $5,000. Oh, gotta go. Love, Carlos. Carlos, finally got one for you, mate. Oh, oh, Maria. <laughs> Dear Carlos, sorry I haven't written sooner, but there's a reason. Pino and I are getting married. Look, I'm sorry I had to break it to you this way. Love, Maria. P.S. Don't go jumping off any bridge or anything. I know how you get. Oh, 
my best friend, Pino. Okay, God, what's the deal, man? Like, are you trying to do some experiment on me or something? I mean, I thought as soon as I came to Australia, I got out of L.A., things would be different. I'd be nothing but beaches and beers and shrimps. I thought I'd have money. Hey, do me a favor, will ya? Next time you see me falling in love, just strike me with a bolt of lightning and get it over with. Carlos! I have been looking all over for you. Oh, I rang your apartment a million times, you didn't answer. What? I ran over there, you weren't there, so I thought maybe something had happened to you. Oh, I, I, I rang the police, the oh, hospital. The police? Mm. Thank God you're all right. Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine now. Yeah. Now where are you going? Going to work, Wayne. Now remember, show business. This can't be the place. Put it down. Many on a restaurant, well, I guess Bruce knows what he's doing. Oh, this is dreadful. Oh, my goodness. Senorita Hobart. Oh, I recognize you immediately. What a pleasure. Welcome home. This cake is for my father's birthday and needs to go in the fridge. Uh, Absolute amante, no problem. Uh, Carlos! See? Uh, refrigerated this for Senorita Hobart. And don't put it next to any of those refried beans. Father hates that smell. Carlos, the cake. Oh. Oh, see. Oh. Ah, sorry guys, you gotta go on the east side. Father doesn't approve of beans. All right, new guy coming aboard. All right, everybody be cool. Carlos! Coming, coming! Whoa! Ah! Oh. Senorita Hobart was trying to arrange the seating for her party. Why is that gentleman at her table? He is looking at your kilt. Uh, he's with your party, no? Are you a friend of Bruce's? No, I just came in to use the loo. He's not our waiter tonight, is he? Of course. Uh, Senor Carlos is El Mexicano Genuino. Uh, yes, uh, uh, me and the others will uh, sing happy birthday for you tonight. Uh, make it very uh, special. Tell him to drop the fake accent. Let's go. This mate, do you know who her father is? No, but if he's single with bucks, my mom's always looking. He owns more buildings around the world than you've had hot breakfasts. So just zip it. And give that gentleman his bill. Okay. Your bill, senor? $18.75? I thought you said this was on the house. On the house? Um, I thought you said you had the reservation. Well, I only said that so I could use the loo. The loo? Well, loo, get the bill. This is uh, very embarrassing. This is all I've got. <sighs> oh, jeez, man, he's gonna kill me. Well, I can bring some cash back later. No, I said on the house, it's on the house. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Cheers. You know, it's been almost a year since I saw your parents on a ski trip. I haven't seen them for nine months myself. Father's been working from his London office. I like your place. It's nice. It's very nice. Thanks. Oh, so what does this Bruce have going for him? He used to be captain of the Wallabies, the Aussie rugby team. Wait, I'll show you something.
times when you need a damn good drop of the amber nectar, but you don't have any on you. That's when you can't always be a he-man. Sometimes you've got to have someone else carry the four X. Your character, huh? Not bad. Four X. Get it out of her pants and into your face. You think your father would like it? Of course not. G'day, girls. Well, how are you? Ooh, got a girlfriend? Well, I'll tell you what, sweetheart. You be my girlfriend. Ooh. Hey, Bruce. Bruce, what are you? Excuse me. <laughs> When I quit footy, they offered me Toyota and 4X, see? Now, with 4X, I got a free Toyota. But with Toyota, I gotta buy my own beer! <laughs> what do you intend to do when your contract expires next month? Does it? Nah, look, they'll probably just renew it. I don't plan to. Wait! We've got a little surprise for your birthday, Father. Yes. You certainly have. Okay, big fella, time for you to go on. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear fat cat. Happy birthday to you. I wonder what it tastes like. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, let's oh, be the VIPs. Okay. No. Hey. Oh, no, this is not happening. What's wrong? Something screwed up with the fridge, man. Look, this thing's frozen solid. Rose, you stop leaking, mate. Carlos, don't do this to me. Well, we'll put it in the microwave. The microwave? The microwave. Yeah, yeah, the microwave. Carlos, genius. Hey, won't the icing melt? Won't the icing melt? Uh, no, no, uh, it heats from the inside out. You're a genius. Well, don't say everyone love the food, huh? You like the food? Raise your hand, you like the food. Senor Bruce, see? Sí. Senora, you like the food? The yeah. Senor, por qué no gusta la food? The, the cake. Cake? The cake. 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 Oh, the cake! <laughs> you say cake, we say pastel. <laughs> well, could we have it now, please? Okay. The cake! Por que no? I bring the cake. <laughs> ah, special mañana burrito. Special de la casa on the casa, señor Bruce. <laughs> good, good one, mate. <laughs> Come on, team. Oh, dig in, dig in. Super... These are my favorites. Gotta eat them like Mexicans. You know, I like this. Oh, what? what? I mean, get. This happened last time! God. Scare his eye. <laughs> Come on! Happen again, Carlos! Still hard in the center. Another 30 seconds. 30 seconds! Okay, a minute. So, what do you think of your future son in law? Oh, not a hope in hell, young lady, and never. What's wrong with Bruce? The tragedy of the situation is that you can't see for yourself. You've hated every boyfriend I've ever had. Every single one. Well, I've got news for you, Father. I'm marrying Bruce, whether you like him or not. I'll give that marriage two weeks. We'll find out who's right two weeks after the wedding, then, won't we? Alexandra, you're not marrying that oaf. Says who? Don't make an issue out of this. The subject is closed. The subject is not closed, Father, because if you... And have... if you're going to make a scene in the restaurant... I will leave. Yeah. Why don't you go to the bathroom and freshen up? Excuse me. Oh, 
excuse me. Ew. What? Do you see what's going on here? You have to calm down, Alex. Ever since I was a kid, it's the same crap. I'll go back to the table and he'll have some deal for me. A deal? You'll see. Everything is business to father. I say I want to marry Bruce and he has to say no. But then he'll come back with a, a counter offer somewhere in the middle. Well, don't let him get away with it. I'm not. I'm not going to let him do this to me again. Allez, viens. Alexandra, I didn't mean to upset you. But there are occasions when one must be a little brutal. Just take my advice this time. Bruce is a total loser. Now, the next time you are serious about marriage, I will embrace your gentleman with open arms. Is that fair? Let's get this perfectly clear. You're offering me a trade-off? If you want to put it that way, uh, yes. I give up Bruce and the next bloke, even if you can't stand him, even if he's the biggest idiot you ever met, you won't say a word? I doubt there could be anyone more repulsive than Mr. Woodley, but yes, it's a deal. I won't say a word. Well, that's it. No one will ever come into this restaurant ever again. We're ruined. Ah, don't worry, I'll think of something. What? What will you think of, Carlos? If we don't have $5,000 by next week, the bank gets everything. We'll be out on the street. <laughs> the street! I'll think of something. He doesn't like me. What, what did I do? Everybody likes me. He's not gonna cut you off, is he? This is the same shit he's pulled on me for years. But this time, I'm as serious as he is. And I've got him right where I want him, especially if I could just find the right idiot. Ah! Bloody Carlos. What a loser. Look, I don't really think so, you know. I was waiting for this. We get down here and right away you're asking for more money. Well, forget it. Hey, look, it's not about the money, okay? Good. Then there's nothing to discuss. you to meet Carlos, my new fiance. Hey, baby, how you doing? <laughs> hey, I never seen you in the daytime, huh? Turn around, mama. Come on, come on, whip it around. Man, let me check it out. Whoa! Now I see her ass just that cute ass. <laughs> Ooh, baby, shoot me a lippy. Mm -hmm. Swab my tonsils. <laughs> wow, bad patch got here. <laughs> hey, is your man a dope dealer or what? <laughs> If he is, come to whip it on now. Let's party, man. Call some chicks. Get on the horn. Get on the blower. Let's blow it out. <laughs> hey, dude, Carlos Munoz. Glad to meet you, Holmes. Delighted. Yeah, right back at you. 
Ooh, baby, with these hands, with these lips, what I could do. Ooh. <laughs> wow, how much does this thing cost? Oh, be careful with it. It's a mean McGinnis skip of ours. Oh, I better be careful with it or else. Oh, no! <laughs> hey, Holmes, be careful with that bag. It's got all my porno mags in it. If you're good later, we'll let you watch Debbie Does Bondage. We've seen it a lot, huh? Mm, okay, baby, up the stairs. Time to get greased and ready for action, huh? Ooh. Hello, baby. Are you room service? That's it. Walk right on by. Suck up, bitch. I'm gonna make you wait and crawl and beg. Oh, Carlos, please, me next. Please, please. Okay, I'll give you one more shot. Only if you're good. I mean, really good. Thank you, Edison. Oh, mama. Hey, thank you, Edison. Good bloke, man. Young man, huh? the guest bedroom is in the east wing. What? The guest yeah, bedroom. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, you want me to sleep in a different room from my old lady? <laughs> right. She... Oh, look at that bed. It's like a playground. <laughs> hey, hold on, baby. I'll be right there. Hey, tell you what. Make sure we get plenty of fresh towels and don't bug us for at least an hour. You know what I mean? I'm coming. <gasps> what happened? What? Better make that two hours, you know? <laughs> no, slow, slow, baby. Take it off slow. Daddy is coming. Yeah, right. Hey, I gave her a buck. You think that was too much, babe? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is going to be the correct <laughs> Was that okay? <laughs> but let me get this straight. All I got to do is tell your old man that you and me is getting married and then keep acting like a total idiot, right? That's it. Be the easiest $5,000 you ever made. <laughs> the only $5,000 I ever made. <laughs> God, being a kid must have killed you, man. No wonder you don't do anything now. Look at this, skiing, horseback riding, tennis, ballet, <laughs> ice skating. I'm gonna go change. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna change into, a frog? <laughs> Alice, you here? Huh? Oh. Sorry. Oh, uh, so, uh, Alex is in the bathroom, uh, freshening up. Oh, I'm Maggie. Alex's first cousin. Oh, hi, glad to oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, Carlos Munoz. Munoz. Munoz, right, right, you got it. <laughs> oh, where's Bruce? Bruce. Oh, uh, he's out of here. Uh, father didn't approve. He's gone. See, uh, history. Really? Yeah. <gasps> So you are... Uh, Alex is the latest. <laughs> and the greatest. <laughs> How do you like me so far? <laughs> I don't know you. How do you like me? Uh, I don't know you either. <laughs> um, you staying for the weekend? Uh, yeah, I was thinking about it. <laughs> How about you? Yeah? Oh, good. good. Maybe we'll get to know each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. I think it could be. Bye. <laughs> See ya. Adios. What the hell was that? If you want some lipstick, you can borrow mine. Oh. It's in the bathroom. I was just... And, uh, uh, by the way, so are you. Oh. Hey, where to go, babe? All right! Woo! Woo! Hey, beats the hell out of watching on TV, huh, Lady Irene? You don't play tennis, Carlos. Me? <laughs> right. <laughs> See, where I come from, you get enough room to put a tennis court on, man. You got 3,000 people living on it. <laughs> Yo, hey, Jeeves! Jeeves! Hey, what's that dude's name again? Edison. Edison, right. Yo, Edison! That's it. Take your time, man. Is this dude dead or what? Hey, thanks, bud. There you go. Thank you. Hey, next time, don't be bullshitting with the vodka either, too, man. Mm. Hey, you play good, babe. I especially like that part where you bend over. <laughs> G'day there, sailors. Don't you ever give up, Mother. G'day, Alexandra. Fancy a quick one. Tennis, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm Carlos Munoz, man. That's my name. 
I'm Alex's latest squeeze, man. <laughs> you almost had me there. <laughs> Tennis, anyone? Oh, not me. I'm pooped. I just had three hard sets with Daddy. I don't suppose you play, huh? Me? Oh, hey, why not? I'll give it a bash. <laughs> ah. Okay, let's try it. You got any grill work on my butt? Hey, can I borrow your bat? Hey, thanks, honey. <sighs> All right, let's do it, bro. <laughs> hey, take it easy on me, man. I haven't played since Wimbledon, you know? <laughs> Yo, hello. Yo. Hello? Oh, uh... Hey, dude, you got another bat, man? Yo! <laughs> uh... Okay, dude, you ready? All right, play ball! Here we go! Oh, let's try it again! <laughs> Here we go! Oh. <gasps> Sorry! <laughs> uh, is that a foul ball or what? Is that perfectly all right? Uh, yes, perfectly all right. That is the study. Oh, yeah, what do you study here? <laughs> Ow! Oh, excuse me, sir, and I'll get out of your way. No, you're right, go on with what you're doing. Don't mind us. Yeah, don't mind us. <laughs> hey, it's a nice place you got here, man. This is where you come to hide out from the old lady? <laughs> hey, dude, what's a place like this cost, man? We, uh, we don't discuss such things. <laughs> right. I've served rich people all my life, man. You guys love talking about money. <laughs> oh, oh. Ooh, tasty, man. How do you get away with it, dude? How do I get away with what? <laughs> hey, I guess the old lady don't care no more, huh? I'm with you, man. Young stuff is good stuff. Fresh. If you're quite finished. If you're quite finished. Hey, relax, Holmes. I'm just teasing. I wouldn't do it with no maid, man. Oh, unless Alex wanted a threesome. <laughs> and then, hello. Wow, man. Are you sure we can find our way back to the house from here? No problem. Good afternoon, Maybe sir. we should call a cab, man. Your family here with you in Australia? Are you kidding, man? I dumped them losers years ago. Admirable. Yeah. So, like, is there anything else you want to know about me, man? No. So you're just going to give me the OK? The OK for what? You know, to marry Alex. Hey, how many slaves did it take to run this place, man? This was Alex's favorite as a child. Yeah, that's great. Looks like future dog food, man. Yo, Alpo! Hey, dude! Tell me, how did you and Alex get together? Oh, hey, you know what? Like, I feel sorry for the chick, you know? She was on the rebound, so I said, hey, give the chick a break, you know? I mean, you know how chicks are like, man, you know? I know what you're thinking, man. You know, this guy's porking chicks left, right, and center, you know? He's probably just gonna break my little girl's heart, man. No way, you know? Like, with Alex and me, like, the, the physical thing is, like, only half the trip, man. You know, the other half is, like, mental, like, it's intense, man. I've never been in a thing like this, you know? It's like, I wake up in That's the morning... That's my Arabian. I don't know what... Try to the stables. Yeah, that's great. Oh, uh, excuse me for a minute, man. Ah! Oh, oh, that feels good, man. Oh! Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, easy, big fella. Ah! Oh, God, how do you get these things to stop, man? Oh! Ah! Oh. Yeah, no, don't get jealous. <laughs> Oh. I know it won't be very long before I'm in your arms to stay. Cause I'm still crazy for you. Ta da! How do you like it? That's it. Perfect. Yeah, I like it myself. It's kind of cool, huh? All you need is a tie, and I've got just the one. Yeah, try to. Oh, uh, you know what? To tell you the truth, I don't know how to tie one of these things. You know, I never wear them. Oh, okay, I'll try. Oh, you know how? I think so. Oh, I used to wear men's clothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I wore them at school. Oh, at school. At school, boarding oh. school. Yeah, it's truly awful. Mm-hmm. Oh. You're a weird guy, you know that? What do you, what do you mean? Well, you have this stupid job in a stupid restaurant. 
You're doing all these stupid things for me. Underneath you, you're just like a regular bloke. Oh, well, thank you very much. You're not as stupid as you look either. You know, uh, excuse me for prying, but um, look, if you want to marry this guy, why don't you just marry him, you know? Why are you playing all these games? You wouldn't understand. You don't know my father. Well, it's hard to understand. Well, I wonder what old Bruce is doing. He's gone on holiday. He wants to lose 10 pounds before the wedding. Oh, yeah? I told him to cut off his head. He can lose 10 pounds over your fat that way. <laughs> Let's see. Just think, this time tomorrow you'll be $5,000 richer. $5,000, huh? Well, then I guess it's showtime! Ah! Are you ready to party? All right! I said, no. Nah. Last time a woman got a rip from a man, they both got thrown out of the garden. <laughs> Isn't he, Richie? Yeah. And he's entirely self-educated, you know. <laughs> yeah, hey, what are you, anyway? Me? Oh, I'm a feces with a moon over Miami. <laughs> no, 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 no. What's, what's your night of extraction? He's oh. Mexican. Yes. Mexican, huh? You see. I never knew a Mexican good for anything except singing Guadalajara. Ha, 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 ha. And they never have a penny to their names, either. Yeah, let's do an experiment. Oh, Father, please. Now, nah, go on. Turn your pockets out. Let's see how much money you got on you. I have cars this weekend cash in my safe, if you'd like to see it, Uncle. It's about $5,000, isn't that right? Oh, yeah. Let's dance. Hey, have a rip, dude. Hey, Penny. I'd ask you to cook us up some refried beans, but you probably haven't got a work visa. <laughs> Who's that jerk? He's my uncle. He's married to my father's sister. Well, Bruce will fit right in this family. That's your opinion. Yeah, well, at least I got an opinion, you know? And when I want it, I'll ask for it, okay? Mexico. Buenas noches, senor. Quiere bailar? What? Do you want to dance? Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Ah, muchacho! You know, I spent one summer in Mexico as an exchange student. Oh. 
Oh, I just love the Mexican people. Yeah, so do I. I love them so much I had them for parents. Muchacho! <laughs> <laughs> It's working his way nicely into the family, isn't it, dear? So what do you think of me so far? <laughs> <laughs> You're a really hip dancer. That's a good sign, you know. Oh, yeah? Sign of what? All well, people who are good at dancing are usually good at... Other things. Hey, uh, Mother was a bit worried that she might be getting a bit sweet on Peppy here, but I told her, no worries, because all those juggers from down there, they're, they're raving homos anyway. Daddy! <laughs> Hey, don't worry about it. It's just a little myth we put out to get rich Australians to come on down. Now, look here, Pippi. I bet you've been to Mexico, haven't you? Yeah. You'd like that tequila, don't you? Yeah, yeah that's all right. You gotta watch out for it, though. If you drink too much, it has an awful punch. Uh, I think he had one of those bad ribs, you know? Must have been something he ate. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are? My father isn't an idiot. He knows I'd never be in love with a common street fighter. You could have blown the whole damn thing. Look, if anybody's blown the whole damn thing, it's you, babe. I'm out of here. No, you're not bloody out of here, mate. Look, you can get a lot of suckers to do this shit. Just get yourself another one, okay? I was supposed to come down here to get Daddy all pissed off so he'd say, you can marry Bruce. I didn't come down here to get shit on and insulted by these bigoted assholes. Well, a deal's a deal. So far, our little Alexander's come out on top. What shall you do? I still hold the last card. It's time to put it on the table. So you've changed your mind about the $5,000? Well, look, how about this for a new deal? I get out of here and you keep the five grand, okay? See ya. There is no new deal. You leave here with the $5,000 when I say. And I won't be saying anything until my father says that I can marry Bruce. Is that clear? Forget it. All right, I'll double it. Another 5000 Another five? May I come in? Carlos, I want to apologize. My brother-in-law can be very insensitive. He's Australian, you see. When I told him you and Alexander were getting married, I said if he didn't like you, he needn't bother attending any more family functions. Oh, uh, you mean you're going to let me marry her? You're going to let me marry him? Well, it's a little too rapid for my taste, of course, sweetheart, but uh, a deal's a deal. Welcome to the family, son. Good night. Good night, sweetheart. <laughs> well, uh, hey, uh, what about a June wedding, honey? I like June, you know, not too hot, not too cold. What do you think, sweetheart, June? I said shut up and get out. <laughs> get out. Oh, get out, okay. Get out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> dun, dun, ta -da. dun, 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 dun. And $10,000 to boot. Oh, Carlos. Huh? 
Oh, hi. Andre. How you doing? Sit down. Sit down. Shh. Well, did you have a good time? Would you mind brushing the back of my hair? Uh. I can't seem to reach it. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. <clears throat> Sorry, did I hurt you? Oh, no, no, don't stop. You won't hurt me. Oh, yeah, I thought I hurt you. <laughs> Harder. Harder. Like... Harder. Harder? Harder. <laughs> Faster! Faster! <laughs> Harder! Faster! If I take my hand off, will you be quiet? You sure? I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. God, you scared the hell out of me. Caramba. Calm, calm down. Uh, look, uh, I'm Mexican. I'm not Mexican. Uh, I'm a uh, Oh, look, a kangaroo. Hmm? Look, we can talk about this. Let's make a deal. Oh, no! Yeah, dear. Maggie's having those horse nightmares again. Jumping bean. No. For this family. Hmm. Hey, top of the morning, Jeeves. Hey, good morning, everybody. Hey, babe. Mm. I'm surprised you're up. <laughs> I'm surprised you could walk. <laughs> I managed. Uh, tell me, have you two settled on a date yet? We'll let you know. You could give us a hint, couldn't you, Alexandra? Hey, I'm usually free in the afternoons. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Carlos, I'd be delighted to take you into the business. Who, me? Nah, I'm not into business, man. Well, you're quick. You're good with people. I think it'd be great. Don't you, darling? <laughs> nah, I don't think so. Hey, tell you what, you know who'd be great at business? Your daughter, man. She drives a mean bargain. Mm, I've been telling her for years. Do you think you could talk some sense into her? Who, me? Yeah, no problem. <gasps> oh. Phew. Well, if we're going to beat the Sunday traffic, we better hit the road. Hmm? Oh. Well, it's been a slice. Uh, leave them. Edison will take care of it. Hey, where I come from, everybody does their own dishes, you know what I mean? Travel broadens the horizons. Leave it. Hey, it'll just take five minutes. I said, leave them. Mm. Well, see you in the spring. If we don't see in the mattress. <laughs> Later on. Cheerio, jeez! <laughs> Thank you. 
incredible font. I wonder what she'll come up with for Act Three. She must really be in love to put up with all this nonsense. Perhaps we should just let her marry him. A likeable fellow, this Carlos. I meant Bruce, not Carlos. Let's just play along a bit longer. Hey, listen, uh, I don't really have a bank account. Do you think I can get the money in cash? What money? What do you mean, what money? The 10 grand. Are you kidding? Oh, come on. You're not going to stiff me, are you? You said you didn't want the money. Because I wanted to quit, but you made me stay. Oh, dear God, don't you understand anything? I wanted you to stay so Father would hate you. Instead, you sit around like old mates talking about my career. Hey, I did everything I could to make him think I was a jerk. And look what happened. He loves you. It's not my fault. It's only human. Put it this way. I go to your restaurant and order a meal. You go to the kitchen, but you come back without the food. Do you still think I should pay? What the hell does that mean? Hey, where are we going? We're going to Wallen Gatter. I'm going to surprise Bruce at the hotel. We'll stay the night. Stay the night? If you don't want to sleep over, you can get the bus back to Sydney. Yeah, cool, whatever. Hey, they could use some help. Why'd you stop? It's a trick. What are you talking about? They get you to stop and then they rob you blind. I can't believe you. Hey, you'd stop if it was a Rolls, wouldn't you? Or maybe a Mercedes or a Jaguar. All right, you've made your point. Got me water. Uh, yeah, here's some. Go ahead, have at it. Go give him a hand. Don't tell me, let me guess. Uh, flat tire. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> no, I was going to take the spare and get it fixed, but I didn't have the cash, so uh, I took a chance. Mm, bad luck, huh? Well, what can we do for you? Don't know. <laughs> Can't all fit in the back of your car. <laughs> It'd be a little crowded. Um, hmm. Tell you what, give me a hand. Let's have a look. I just thought this on the ground. What do you think? Yeah, close enough for rock and roll. Mm, beauty. Whack her on, eh? Hey? Yeah. Uh, uh, hello, it's my tire. Yeah, don't worry, get it back. I have somewhere to go. Hey, good idea. Why don't you go down there and take a walk, huh? What a beautiful day. Yeah, take a nice long walk, okay? Hey, nature. I'll be right with you. Where you come from, mate? Me? Uh, L.A. How about you? You know, the Alice? Yeah. What are you doing over here? Uh... Well, it wasn't working out in L.A., so I thought I'd give this place a try, you know? What made you pick Australia? Uh, <laughs> tell you the truth, I kept seeing this guy on TV, you know, and he was saying, uh, good day, mate, uh, throw another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> He's sitting there drinking a beer, beautiful beach. I thought, hey, could be worse. <sighs> Lately, I've been thinking that I'm the shrimp on the barbie, though, you know? Yeah, it looks like you've done all right for yourself so far, mate. Isn't that right, honey? Could be worse. What do you think, right. huh? Having a good time? Tell you what, why don't we get some land over here, huh? Maybe we raise some kids, some sheep, put a little house up there. What do you think? You two remind me of me and the missus when we was first hitched. Bloody love birds we was. Couldn't keep our eyes off each other. <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> uh, thank you, pretty lady. Combination wedding gift and good luck charm. Wear it in good health. Oh, that's really beautiful, huh? 
Say thank you now. Thank you. Talking about, about gave it away. I didn't give it away. Who's going to bring it back? You just wouldn't give me your address. Hey, besides, he gave me that beautiful crystal. This piece of junk. At least I only lose a hundred dollar tire this way. Say what? If I gave them my address, I'd come home tomorrow to an empty apartment. Oh, come on, that guy was okay. You gotta trust somebody. It's easy to trust people when you don't have anything to lose. Hey, who died and made you Darth Vader, huh? Mr. Einstein. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're not using them damn steel belts anymore, that's for sure. <laughs> Honey? Mr. Woodley. Uh, sorry, mate. Name's Smith. John Smith. Ah, oh, yes, of course, Mr. Smith. If you'll just sign here, please, sir. Certainly. Take Mr. Smith's luggage to his room. Ah, uh, yes, of course, Mr. Smith. Right this way, please. You go ahead. I'll be in the bar. Good mate. What'll it be? Oh, I just ripped the top of a 4X, would you, mate? So, uh, how's the shooter action around here, sport? That's what you're looking for. That stick you have stuck up your butt. Don't you dare talk to me like that. Give me that light. Fine. Fine. I, I won't say a word to you, okay? Just look for some words so and won't freeze to death. Gee. That's right. Be a smart ass. You're the one who got us stranded out here anyway. God, I'm freezing. There are probably wild animals all around here. Waiting to attack us. Are you listening to me? Yeah. 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 Oh, geez. Hey, hey, it's a big piece of wood. Come on, help me get out of the ground. I'm not helping you do anything. Oh, fine. Then freeze to death by yourself. Please. All right. What do you want me to do? <laughs> 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 you know, she told me so much about you that you should blush every time I walk in the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Just what have you heard? Oh, oh, I heard about your incredible horizontal talent. <laughs> <laughs> wow. At least she wasn't telling lies. Ah, 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 ah. Where I come from, seeing is believing. You like jacuzzi? 
Jacuzzi. Jacuzzi. Race it back. Hey, get back here. Hey. Hey, you gotta get back. I just let you win because you're a champ. Oh, right. Have you know I was track champion at my school? Oh, yeah? Well, bully for you. So, uh, what are you doing later after the fire dies down? Down, boy. You're not my type. Oh, yeah. I forgot you like the rocket scientist type like Bruce. <laughs> He's not so bad. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what's so funny? Yeah, nothing. Yeah, what's funny? I was just curious. What do you guys talk about when you're alone? It is like, uh, hey, Bruce, uh, how do you breathe out of your nose after a rugby match or something like that? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> is that your answer for everything? What do you mean? Well, you say it to me all the time. Look, I'm gonna be the smartest guy in the world, and I'm not the dumbest. What's there to not understand? Your daddy dangles you on the string and it pisses you off. You just don't have enough nerve to cut the string. I don't know what you're talking about. Right. I mean, like, the car and the condo and the boutique. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, I may not have much, but what I have is my own. And I don't have to marry Bruce. Oh, I know. You wouldn't understand. Nobody comes up here. He said it was on the roof. I mean, he said it was upstairs, not on the roof. Are you sure in the right place? No worries, love. When Brucey says this is the place, this is it. <laughs> More champagne. <laughs> Love the champagne. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just uh, uh, get him off. <laughs> da 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 da. Da 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 da. Come on, baby, take it off. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. da. <laughs> yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, come on. Come on, da papa. <laughs> yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Fantasies come. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, 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 ah. 
First, you have to take off those ridiculous shorts. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Who's good looking at us? So what are you going to do with your $10,000? You're going to give me the money after all? Why not? You tried your best. It's only money. Yeah, it's only money. How about $50,000? <laughs> Very funny. No, you'll get your money as soon as we get back to Sydney. Then I'll probably never see you again. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, listen, before I never see you again, do you think um, maybe I can get an advance, get something to eat, get the bus home? Sure, no problem. Great. Thank you for calling. Bye-bye. Has Mr. Bruce Woodley checked in yet? I believe Mr. Woodley is here, ma'am. Could I have his room number, please? Can I ask who's inquiring? I'm Alexandra Hobart, Mr. Woodley's fiance. <laughs> it's room 212. <laughs> Let me tell Mr. Woodley you're here. Yeah. Shit! Uh, yeah, when's the next bus to Sydney? Not till tomorrow. Are you gonna have to stay the night? Um, yeah, it looks like it. Uh, you got a single? Uh, yes, if you just sign here, please, sir. And there's your room. I'm gonna go for a shower. Okay, I'll uh, check with you later. It's just uh, down the hall, and it's the first on the right. Okay, thanks a lot. Enjoy your stay. Yep. Bye-bye, guys. Carlos! What are you doing here? Just looking for my room. You, uh, didn't see anything, right? <laughs> right. Hey, 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 Carlos, mate. Uh, listen, I'll, I'll, I'll do you right, OK? Uh, how, how about a thousand bucks? That'll sort of cloud the mind, OK? Huh? What's wrong with you people, man? You think money can buy everything? Hey, listen, dickhead. I'm on the pig's back. Now I'm set for life. Hey, come on. You're not going to drop me in the shit. I didn't drop you in anything, man. You dropped yourself into it. You know what? That's where you belong. Nice one. The messy sport. You got it.
Darling, you don't know how much I've missed you. Come on, come on. I just want to say good morning to Carlos. I won't be long. Uh, uh, look, I'll, I'll meet you on the court, OK? Uh, yeah. Oh. Carlos? I'm sorry, Miss Hope, had he checked out. He could be at the bus stop. Where is that? It's right across the road, ma'am. Thank you. Carlos? My God, what happened? I guess it wasn't looking where I was going. Shit happens, you know. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. So where are you going anyway? Home, I guess. Back in Sydney, then. You know, to give you the money. That's okay. You keep it. What do you mean? We had a deal. Forget the deal. You keep the money. You need it a lot more than I do. Good luck. He has no idea. He thinks I don't even know when his birthday is. The other day when I walked home from work, I had a sudden oh, call of nature. Yeah. I dropped into yeah. the nearest possible pit stop, the Manana restaurant. When I walked out of the loo, the waiter presented me with a first-class margarita and a plate of hors d'oeuvres. When I explained I didn't have the cash to oh, pay for the them, same job he said, don't worry, restaurant. it's on the house. Three stars Manana. It's not often you find a place where you can empty the old bladder and on the same spot, get a refill, free and on the house. I wanted to introduce this waiter, Carlos Manos, but unfortunately he's gone walkabout over the last two days. But all is not lost. One of his mates at the restaurant <laughs> had this to say. Carlos! Carlos, if you're out there, please. I really need you. I really need you to keep the restaurant going, please. Please, Carlos, come back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. <laughs> Hey, uh, well, uh, what was uh, Carlos Munoz doing there? Being nice, that's what. If you go to Manana, say good day to Carlos. When he gets back, he's worth it. This is Gary Williams oh, yeah, reminding yeah, yeah. Don't you forget it pays party. to be nice. Over to you, Tony. Thank you, Gary, and let's see what Brian has in store for us with the weather. Alex, what's the matter? What's wrong? <laughs> That'll be all, gentlemen. Your father's right in here, miss. Well, Alexandra, but to what do I owe the pleasure of this unexpected visit? Well, I was just in the neighborhood and I thought I'd stop by and see how you're doing. Very thoughtful. So, how are you doing? Never better. And you? I'm great. Everything is great. Not bad, eh? No, it's fine. Really. How's Carlos? Carlos, uh, as a matter of fact, that didn't work out. Pity. 
Nice chap. Your mother will be disappointed. Are you 100% set on marrying this Bruce character? Yes, I am. Then what's wrong? Nothing. Now you're set on marrying him, you're having second thoughts, aren't you? No, not at all. Well, you know how I feel about him. And as your father, Alexandra, just your uh, plain old dad, if you ever want to change your mind, it's not too late. like this since you were a little girl. It's just everything all at once. I've been like a kid, like a rebellious teenager. I just wanted to beat you or something, you know? Make you say yes when I knew you'd say no. I'm sorry. I had no idea things were so bad between you and me. I, I'm really very sorry about that. I don't remember the last time you said I'm sorry. I don't remember the last time I was wrong. <laughs> I don't think I want to spend the rest of my life with Bruce. Would you like me to talk to him? Let him down uh, gently. No. This time I'm going to clean up my own mess. I'm throwing him a surprise party tonight, but afterwards. You're in love. <laughs> oh, uh, Alex, just a second. Colin's still out there? Yes, sir, Ian. Have him bring in that envelope, please. Thank you. Mr. Collins is a photographer. He took some snapshots for me. Thank you, Collins. You will be quite interested in these, dear. What are they? Uh, fish. Fish? Most unusual fish. Find a seat on the floor, doesn't matter where. And Bruce, darling, right here. Place of honor. Drink for you. You know, I was thinking, what does one give to a man who has everything? A shot of penicillin? <laughs> so, I've prepared a little history of our time together. Oh, Dominique, you would you get the lights, please? Start where we first met. Sweet. Love at first sight. Love. Our first date. <laughs> Bruce, always the salesman. For X, would be proud. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, busted. <laughs> <laughs> A real man's man. <laughs> I don't know where this is. Must have been another holiday. Where is this? Do Dominique, I don't remember when you came on holiday with us. When was that? <laughs> I don't even remember being there. Huh? 
What's this? This is my best friend and my fiance, and she's leaving his room putting her clothes on. I'm shocked. And how did Carlos get here? <coughs> Ooh, Carlos must have made Bruce very mad. Darling, let, let me explain. There's no need to explain. Pictures worth a thousand words. Oh. <coughs> I think we've seen enough. Lights. Dominique, leaving so soon? You haven't even had any cake yet. Good, isn't it? Alex Possum, let me explain. That's for Carlos. Well, good night, everyone. I had a wonderful time. City to Los Angeles? One way? No. Worse off than before, oh, Carlos! Where is he? Where is he? Vanished into thin air right when I needed him most. Please look at this lot. They'll bankrupt me. All they want is to use the loo and free drinks. Oh. Wayne! Wayne, it's okay. We'll find him. Now, where do you think he could have gone? For all I know, he's probably halfway to Mexico by now. Travelating across the road! Flight 101 uh, leaves Sydney Airport in 40 minutes. Thanks. It just taxiing out to the runway. We have to stop it. Sorry, madam, I can't do that. Sorry.
Hello, darling. What are you doing here? Don't think you are. I don't want him to leave either. It's too late anyway. The plane's already pulling away. I want you to stop that plane. Right, Governor. It's all right, Dad. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. We'll see about that. I want to talk to the chairman. Just a second, Dr. Nick, Jim. Mr. Adams' office. I would like to speak with Mr. Adams. I'm sorry, sir. He's in a meeting. Yes, tell him Sir Ian Hobart's here. Sam? Hi. Ian. You have a flight. 101? Bring it back, will you? Very rich. <laughs> You know, he said it was okay for him to go back from L.A., man. I don't know what's the problem. Was it the smoke detector? I just opened the door and the smoke detector went off, man. I'm... Don't forget my beans. I love those arrefritas. Hey, you're learning. <laughs> to our new partner, Sir Ian. May all your mananas be successful. Hey. We will have a chain of them. All right. Lady Irene, I hear you're quite a singer. Come on. Come on, Lady Irene, get on. Can you sing? Then we're going to get out of here. You got it. streets are dark and cold along the huts about to unfold the neon lights are flashing by a stranger's voice is whispering why we'll never stop we'll never give in our fire burns like a violin we'll keep on playing until the end a rock and roll will never bend we're living fast we're living loud our hearts are beating like a dropping crowd We are the rebels, we are the ones Our music echoes like a thousand guns We're driving down the open road Our spirits high, our passion glowed We're chasing dreams that seem so far We're raising hell like shooting stars We'll never stop, we'll never give in our fire burns like a violin We'll keep on playing, we'll keep on playing Until the end A rock and roll will never bend We're living fast We're living loud Our hearts 
hearts are beating like a drumming crowd We are the rebels, we are the ones Our music echoes like a thousand guns We'll never stop, we'll never stop Music echoes like a thousand 